Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, reporting for duty. I will ensure your safe passage through this forest. <sighs> I think I finally got that line down. Uh, I, I didn't get any of it wrong, did I? According to today's forest patrol route map, uh, we need to head here first, then make our way over to there? Hmm. There's a lot of writing. <sighs> I'm feeling alright today. I'll take the chance to try to get some more done than usual. When I don't have much to keep me occupied, old thought patterns start to creep back in and... As soon as I start talking about it, the flashbacks start. Even though the rain has stopped, you still need to watch out for puddles. <sighs> Just like how the past stays in the memory. Long after. Oh, <coughs> sorry. When you hear thunder, it's best practice to stay away from tall trees. Rangers must also be on the lookout for any signs of a forest fire. The weather's not bad. Let's get some sun. <laughs> After all, it's excellent for your health. <sighs> the wind is perfect. Not too light, not too strong. <laughs> I bet Amber would be itching to test her limits in this weather. Good morning. <sighs> Sorry. I was catching up on my studying again last night. It's quite normal to be out until midday on the longer patrol routes. I brought a few extra pita pockets. Would you like one? It's getting dark out. You need to be extra careful if you're going through the forest at this hour. Are you ready to get some sleep? Okay, the campfire's lit. I'll keep watch tonight. I wandered the wilderness for quite a long time before arriving in Sumeru, and I've eaten everything out there countless times. <laughs> Edible or not. Since I'm familiar with the wilderness, the work of a forest ranger seemed a natural fit for me when I arrived here. If they did courses in wilderness survival, I'm pretty sure I could pass. Uh, well, as long as there was no written test. Hmm? You want to know what it is that I'm studying every day? Uh, <laughs> yes, my master is a brilliant intellectual, but... No, he's not teaching me anything heavily academic at the moment. It's, um, <laughs> basic literacy into that. Amber's mentioned you before in her letters. I can't believe how much has happened in Mondstadt since I was there. Too bad I had to skip the words I didn't know, so I missed out on a lot of details. Oh, but since you're here now, would you be willing to tell me the whole story? I used to think that I'd never make a single friend in my whole life. But things changed when I went to Mondstadt. Then after that, I met Master and Sumeru. Now I've met you too. All in all, I think I've been really lucky. I never thought there'd come a day where I'd get my own vision. In the past, I used to think that the gods only cared about people who were born popular. Um, but I was in a bad place back then. Sorry. Master is always reminding me that practice makes perfect, so I sometimes try reading some light novels to improve my reading ability. Because they're at least easier to read than Master's essays. But recently, I was reading this book where the main character has loads of different skills. Each one has a name. And I didn't know a single word in any of them. Hmm? The title? I think it was, um... Onibudo? Have you read it before? <sighs> Here we go again. The power sealed within me grows restless. And you'd be wise to stay away from me. Why are people in Inazuma casually coming out with lines like these all the time? Doesn't it embarrass them when they think back on it later? <sighs> Ugh. No, it's too cringy. I can't read any more of this. Ugh. Well, there's plants and animals. There's ones you can eat, and ones you can't. But beyond that, it's all much of a... Uh, muchness, really? Shh, don't tell Master I said that. Although, personally, I guess I quite like trees that have a hollow in it. Especially in those moments where I just want to curl up in a ball and hide away. Everyone must have moments like that, right? No? Although Master can be quite stern and is always criticizing adventurers for carelessly eating poisonous mushrooms, he is actually a gentle soul. He's so patient when he tutors me, 
and he even reads out letters from Mondstadt for me. I've always been very grateful to him. I ran into her once on forest ranger duty. She pulled out a bottle of fruit juice from her bag that looked really tasty, as if she somehow knew I was thirsty. Uh, fortunately, Master was there, and he stopped me from spending all of my hard-earned mora in a moment of <laughs> weakness. The Dendro Archon? When I was a kid, there were so many times when I just wanted to scream out to the gods and ask them why. Why did I have to go through so much pain? <sighs> but for all I know, maybe the gods feel just as helpless about everything they have to endure as I did back then. Um, I'd rather not talk about him if that's okay. Oh, no, the General Mahamatra isn't a bad guy or anything. Matter of fact, I have him to thank for bringing me back from Mondstadt to Sumeru and finding me a safe place to stay. It's just that, um... Whenever I'm reminded of the sealing process just before leaving Mondstadt... Oh, the back of my neck starts hurting again. The General Mahamatra once brought him to our place for a meal. From the moment the fruit arrived on the table, he ranted non-stop about his difficult and stubborn roommate for the entire meal. We didn't get a single word in the whole time. We just nodded along and tried to stifle our laughter. It took a lot of effort. She seems a little absent-minded. If she ever comes to perform around Gundarverville, I'm worried she'll end up wandering off into the forest and getting lost. So I'll have to watch out for her, as a responsible trainee forest ranger should! Amber is amazing! She's friendly and has tons of enthusiasm! Plus, she's really brave and always does the right thing! She's the person I admire most of all! She's like a cozy fire that makes everyone around here feel... warm. <sighs> There's no way I'd be where I am today without her. So much time has gone by. I bet she's even more cool and confident than ever these days! <sighs> Who knows if I'll ever be able to match her. How's everyone in Mondstadt? Are they good? I caused so much trouble back then. I sometimes wonder if I should make some time to go back there and apologize. Hmm. But what if I ran into the cavalry captain and he started teasing me? Uh, yeah. There's no rush. Maybe I'll leave it a while longer. After all this time, Lisa still calls me Little Kale when she writes to me. I feel like by now she... Hmm? She calls you cutie? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Um, but I must say, that makes me feel a lot better. Princess Ender Vertolong? Mm, nope. Sorry. I wasn't in Monsat for very long, so I didn't hear of her. That name, though... Ugh... <clears throat> Nothing. Um, to be honest, I don't really know how to handle people like Madame Farzan. She's always saying that I'm a hard-working student and eager to learn, but that's because I have to be. I'm a slow learner, so I have to put in the extra effort. Oh. There was a time when I accidentally saw her research journal. Only for a second, though. It was all written in old script, and I couldn't even make out half of it. Definitely the scariest book into that. You want to know more about me? If you mean about before I came to Sumeru, then, um... M maybe you could write to Amber and ask her about it? Wait, 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 no, not that. If Kaya found out, that would be a disaster. What am I saying? Of course he'd find out! Uh, okay, I I'll tell you myself then. <sighs> I'm sorry. Please give me a few days to work up to it. When I ended up in Mondstadt, I said a lot of things to Amber and the others that I shouldn't have. I still feel ashamed whenever I think about it. How could I talk like that to people who were just trying to help me? I shudder to think what they must have thought of me back then. Uh, sorry. Maybe we can leave it there for today. If I go any further than that, 
I know I'll regret it tomorrow. I was once taken to someone they call the doctor for treatment for my Alizar. Well, actually, treatment is the wrong word. It was more... experimentation. After so long in that place, I couldn't help but start to wonder. What have I done wrong to deserve this? Why won't anyone come to rescue me? Gradually, I went from hating just the Fatui to hating everyone in the world. Thinking about it now, it was quite childish. Thanks to you guys, my Alizar has disappeared without a trace. It's the miracle that I never dared to wish for. I never held out hope for a cure. I just figured I'd try and just do as much as I could before my body stops moving. First I was focused on revenge, then forest patrol. And now, finally, I am free to live my life. Are you going to keep traveling? Let me do my part, please. I'll study hard. Whether it's reading, medicine, combat, or assessing the danger. Even something small, like checking the streetlights. <laughs> I hope that many more people will get the help they need along the way. Just like how you saved me. My hobbies? Sewing, practicing gliding, and helping people. Hmm? Sounds familiar. Well, that's because... I want to be someone that gives people that warm feeling too. In response to the... Homo... Homogenization of crop species. Take in import measures. Avoid long-term con consumption of fungal foods. Ugh, what is the point of all this? They're literally saying, I don't want to eat mushrooms. But because they're from the academia, they have to make it sound all complicated. Pita pockets are travel-friendly and filling, so they're probably the food I eat the most. But if we're talking about more than just filling, my favorite food would be... Hmm, fried radish balls, I think. During my wandering days, there were times when I had to crack open wolf hooks and force them down if I didn't want to go hungry, so... There aren't really any foods that I especially hate. Ah, uh, if I had to pick one thing that I won't touch, it would be mushrooms of any kind. Nothing to do with the flavor, I just, uh, don't want to ever be the one on the receiving end of one of Master Stern lectures. Ugh. Mmm, <laughs> it's delicious! Could you teach me? With skills like this, I bet you never go hungry when you're out in the wilderness, huh? Sorry, uh, Master says I'm not supposed to eat anything that looks, um, suspicious. Uh, happy birthday! Here's the cake I made for you, and here are the candles, so yeah! Amber said in her letter that this would do the job. Oh, and uh, here's the gift I got for you. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have much experience arranging birthday parties. I have no idea if you'll like it. Uh, I'm getting all flustered now. If anything's not how you like it, please say, and I'll make absolutely sure to plan a nicer birthday celebration for you next year. Does this mean I'm making progress? I'm starting to feel like I'm finally a better person than I used to be. Even if it's a life or death situation, I'll never need to rely on their power again. It probably wouldn't even matter if I unsealed that power now. <sighs> I've come so far. I think I'd be able to control it. Don't you? Uh, well, only one way to find out. Just kidding. <laughs> My real superpower is all about the adventure experience I've had with you. 